She is voice acting royalty. Kaya, I can't take this. Please keep it with you, brother, to protect you. You must take it with you, please. I want you to have it. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Terra Strong voice roles. I know you're home, and I also know something creepy's going on. Time to find out what. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the characters that this veteran voice actor has portrayed over the years, and we're basing our choices on a mix of popularity, fan favorites, and our own personal opinions. Both TV, film, and video game performances are included, as Strong has led her voice to many media forms, all while bringing a whole roster of crazy, lovable characters to life. You're hardcore! Really? Oh, shit. Number 10, Ingrid Third, Fillmore. Would you rather eat a two-month-old mac and cheese or a spider meringue pie? Gotta go with the vintage mac. That's an easy one. How many of you remember this show? What's up, Ingrid? Probably nothing, but I'm digging. Taking place in an American middle school, but treated like a gritty detective thriller. The character of Ingrid III fits perfectly in this hard-hitting world of juvenile criminals and overdue homework. Third. Can you meet me somewhere? So I can keep listening to you being stupid? Sarcastic, critical, but with a moral code and a photographic memory, Ingrid is the best partner an adolescent detective could ask for, made all the more relatable by Strong's lower registered voice and signature wit. This school. You got kids with slingshots, baseball card sharks, test paper peddlers, but you don't have any rebels. That's why you gotta stick around. Number 9. Toot Bronstein and Princess Clara, drawn together. Yeah? Well, can your stupid girlfriend do this? <laughs> Voicing two main characters in one show? Not a problem for Miss Strong. It doesn't hurt that these two are so different, despite sharing a common thread of moral insanity. Where's Fatty Fatty 2x4 can't fit through the kitchen door? Help! Help! Anyone! While Toot may be based on Betty Boop and Clara based on a Disney princess, Tara ensures that they are the exact opposite of these to hilariously insulting degrees. Please! The Sockbat genocide is nothing but a terrible lie perpetrated by the evil Sockbat banking conspiracy. Ow! Toot is selfish, overweight, and a sexual predator. <laughs> while Clara is racist, homophobic, and a fanatical Christian. Seriously, Xander, it's not your place to punish yourself. It's God's. Able to expertly voice the distinctions, Clara even shows off her singing skills on Drawn Together. It's really quite thrilling. That's right, now you know. I think I taste a feeling. And it's solid gold. I never dreamed I Number 8. Batgirl slash Barbara Gordon and Harley Quinn. The new Batman Adventures and Batman Arkham video game franchise. What are you doing here? Pre-dawn, the dockyards. Where else would a person in a mask be? Tara Strong is no stranger to superheroes and supervillains, as we'll see later on this list. Her original outing as a caped crusader came in the follow-up to Batman the Animated Series, known as the New Batman Adventures. There's an impression. Do you recognize it? On this TV series, she played a member of the Bat family known as Batgirl. I don't think so, boys fighting crime while trying to conceal her identity from her detective father made her a moving character, and it wouldn't be the last time she'd play Barbara Gordon in cartoon form. There's safety in numbers, you know. You and Bruce don't have to look out for me, Barb. I'm not stupid. No, you just act that way sometimes. However, we were even more floored when Strong inherited the mantle of Harley Quinn in the Batman Arkham video game franchise. Hurry up, idiot! And was able to turn on all the charm and madness of the supervillain. Did you think it was gonna be that easy? Well, think again, loser! Number seven, Terrence, Foster's home for imaginary friends. That's it, I need pizza! Howdy-do, I love you! <laughs> Just because she's a beautiful voice actor who's portrayed strong female characters doesn't mean she can't pull off the voice of a dirty, violent teenage boy just as well. Wait, stop, I just wanna punch you! As the older brother of protagonist Mac, Terrence lives only for himself and to punish Mac and his imaginary friends. Well, 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 looky what I got here! It's Mr. Destructo and his evil pal, Breaky! <laughs> While he is mean-spirited, he's far from a diabolical antagonist and is more just a bully lacking any real spine. Okay, Terrence, do your worst. Oh, don't worry, I will. Now this will only hurt for a second. It can be a hard character to give justice to, 
No surprise that Tara Strong navigates all of his cartoonish qualities with expertise, though, as she knows when to make you hate him and when to make you pity him. Stupid imaginary friend of my stupid little brother is gonna tell me how stupid I am, cause I know just how stupid I- SHUT UP! Number 6. Dylan Dill Pickles. Rugrats. Voicing a baby might seem like an easy job, but making it sound authentic while being able to react to the circumstances of the plot at the same time? That's a whole juggling act in and of itself. Fine. Despite the challenges, as Tommy's younger brother Dill, Tara managed to convince all audiences that her voice was that of a young child trying to grasp the concept of speech. I think we have a smart little guy on our hands. <laughs> Not an easy feat, and it's definitely worthy of recognition. God knows we couldn't keep it up for that long. Ah, uh, this is nothing. Back in the big war, we sometimes had to wait in line for 15 hours just to use a latrine. Number five, Ben Tennyson, Ben 10. Leave him alone. Get lost, shrimp. I said back off. He's not the first 10-year-old to become a cartoon icon due to Tara's amazing voice work, but Benjamin Kirby Tennyson is probably the most heroic. What about you? I'm gonna kick some friends of fish tail. Ben is a rebellious boy with a slight attitude problem who saw everything change when he became the unwitting owner of the Omnitrix. Wonder what this does. Cut ya! <laughs> Very funny. Like your face. This is a watch-like device that could transform him into several alien forms with unique abilities. While Tara voiced a few of his alien forms, such as Upgrade and Benwolf, we went with Ben himself for this entry due to how spot-on she nailed the delivery of a young boy who is given the greatest weapon in the universe, but is still naive to the ways of the world. Eeny, meeny, miny, here goes! Number four, Timmy Turner, The Fairly Odd Parents. But it's Saturday! Saturday! We have a deal! It says here quite clearly, and I quote, Timmy will not need a babysitter on the weekend! Characters like Ben Tennyson and Terrence definitely show off the range that Tara had when it came to young boys. But no character made us believe that the animated character we were watching was actually a male youth more than Timmy Turner. And if I was the babysitter, she'd have to listen to me, right? Oh, oh, I know where this is going! Yeah, I wish I could be Vicky's babysitter! Maybe I don't know where this is going! Timmy's everyday antics with his fairy godparents may make up the majority of the plots and bring in the humor, but the way she portrays Timmy's anger, depression, and sharp wit was always a joy to watch. Hey, that's it! You guys can give me the stuff to make me popular! While Strong also brings Timmy's fairy godbrother Poof to life, <laughs> we can't imagine any other voice for Timmy himself, and we can't believe that same voice belongs to Tara Strong. You've had your fun, and you're safe. And the good thing is, there's not a more dangerous construction zone in the world. And why did I just say that? <laughs> Number three, Twilight Sparkle. My Little Pony, friendship is magic. Princess Celestia, Twilight Sparkle, my faithful student. She's the face of the cartoon that brought upon the brony phenomenon. There are six elements of harmony, but only five are known. Kindness, laughter, generosity, honesty, and loyalty. The sixth is a complete mystery. Twilight Sparkle may be a winged unicorn with magic abilities in spades, but that didn't stop Tara from effectively giving her the voice of a student determined to please her mentor by studying the everyday complications and wonders of friendship. I'm supposed to send Princess Celestia a letter every week telling her about a lesson I've learned about friendship. Not every other week, not every 10 days, every single week. Pompous, determined, sassy, and generous, Twilight has many layers to her still evolving character, and Strong has a voice for every single one of them. Keep it together. If I can't find a friendship problem, I'll make a friendship problem. Number two, Bubbles, the Powerpuff Girls. Excuse me, Mr. Monster, um, I was 
was wondering if you would uh, be so kind as to stop destroying Townsville. We like our town very, very much, and I would appreciate it if you would just leave. Pretty please with sugar lumps on top? Boys, girls, young and old, nothing escapes Tara Strong's vocal rage. I'm just as tough as Blossom and Buttercup. I can handle the rough stuff too. Come on, you guys. Turn it up just this once. I'll show you. By far the happiest of the Powerpuffs trio, Bubbles enjoys the lighter side of life and is perpetually in a good mood. That is, until she goes hardcore and has to fight monsters. I'll show them. I'll prove that I can be hardcore. Bubbles is an adorable bundle of joy that allows Tara to maintain the aura of an innocent young girl while mixing in a badass superhero all at the same time. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I'm not afraid of germs. If you don't play with me, I'll cry. Here I come! Yeah. Oh, haven't you figured it out yet? He's a pathological liar! Each of us clones represents one aspect of your personality! Number 1. Raven, Teen Titans Hoo-wah! High fives! Come on! She's regarded as one of the best superheroines and characters of modern animation, so of course she'd make our list. The mirror you found is for meditation. It's a portal into my mind, not a toy! With a painful past, destructive destiny, and a job as a teenage hero laid out before her, there are so many parts to Raven that we could probably do a full list dedicated to her. Let's just say I have issues with my father. What's most impressive about Tara's portrayal is how she captures all of these mind-boggling aspects and still manages to convey them through a very reserved performance, showing emotion through the emotionlessness. We take our hats off to you, Tara Strong. It is time. The prophecy shall be fulfilled. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.